Hi everyone, welcome back to Classic Camp Crafts. I'm Miss Julia, and in this video, we're going to be prepping our things to tie dye. So, you'll need your socks, your bandana, your tote bag, and your rubber bands. If you're choosing to tie dye something of your own instead of the socks, bandana, or bag, you could grab that too. But please remember, you only have one bottle of tie dye, so doing lots of extra things, you might run out of tie dye. So you might want to choose one or two of the items that you want to leave plain instead. So I'm going to show you a few different techniques for doing your tie dye and doing the rubber bands for all of that. So we'll start with the socks. So I'll grab out my rubber bands from my bag, put them over here, and I'll show you two different techniques, one on each sock, and then I'll show you two other techniques on the bandana and on the tote bag. So the first technique that I'll show you on this sock is to do stripes. So because we have one color of tie-dye each, your stripes will be your color, white, your color, white, your color, and white again. So for this, all you need to do is take your rubber bands and you're going to start by kind of squishing up your sock and going ahead and putting on a rubber band. You want to make sure that your rubber bands are on as tightly as you can get them because this will help your white spots stay white and keep the dye from bleeding into them. So to do the stripes, you'll start with one and then you're gonna space out. I'm gonna use about a two finger measurement. So I'll put my next rubber band here. And all I'm doing is rubber banding all the way around my sock. And remember, I'm doing it as tight as I can. Then I'll take another two fingers and right about here will be my next rubber band. Two more fingers. I kind of want my rubber bands bunched up into one place. And the last two fingers. So that's how my sock will look if I want to do it with stripes. So I'll put dye in the middle of each of these and then the areas where my rubber bands are will stay white. So that's the first technique. And you can do the same technique if you wanted stripes on say your bandana or on your tote bag. All you would have to do is scrunch it up and then go ahead and put rubber bands at regular intervals or at regular distances between and then you'll get stripes on something that's a flat surface too. For my next sock I'm going to do a whole bunch of little bits of tie-dye. So what I'll do is I'll grab little bits of my sock just like this and put a rubber band around it. What this is going to do is give you kind of a crazy all over effect. So I'll grab a little bit, put on a rubber band nice and tight, then I can grab another little bit. This one ends up looking really crazy when all the rubber bands are on it. One of the cool things about tie-dye, as Miss Carrie would say, is that there's no wrong way to do it. Every single way that you do your tie-dye, you're going to end up with a really cool, one-of-a-kind, unique piece. So it doesn't matter how you want to put on your rubber bands, everything will end up really cool. So I'll go ahead and speed up me putting on the rest of these rubber bands. So that 
that is what this technique looks like. You just have a whole bunch of little tiny spots that you've put rubber bands on. You can do the same thing with your bag or with your bandana. You just gather up with like three fingers, just take three and squish up little areas and rubber band them. You'll end up with kind of an all over like crinkly look. It'll be really cool. And plus, I think this looks kind of funny when it's all tied up with the rubber bands like this. The next one I'm going to show you is the swirl. So for the swirl, I'm going to take my bandana and lay it out flat on a surface. And then I'm going to take my thumb and my pointer finger and grab in the middle. And then I'm going to twist the fabric around. So I'll grab in the middle, I'll pinch my fingers, and then I'm going to slowly but carefully start twirling my fabric around so that it makes a spiral shape. So I'm just kind of wrapping it all around into a spiral. And this one's gonna be kind of small and tight. So it'll be like this. I'll show you one more time. You can kind of see how the wrinkles are. Do you see how they kind of make a spiral pattern? So we'll do that one more time. So pointer finger and thumb, pinch, and then I'll start twisting my fabric around my pointer finger and my thumb. Keep going until all of the fabric is tightly twisted around. And then I'll go ahead and take some rubber bands. And that's okay if some of them pop out, we'll get them with the next rubber band. And I'll put on my rubber band kind of tight. Then I'll grab another one, making sure to get that bit down this time. And if I have a few bits that are still sticking out, I can kind of gently tuck them into the rubber bands. There we go. So for this one, when I put on the tie dye, I'm going to kind of put it on the white spaces here. And that's what's going to give me that spiral shape in the end. I'll put in the other parts of this video, um, I'll put in some pictures of what these look like in the end. So when you're deciding how you want to tie up tie up your tie dye, you'll know what you'll get in the end. So this is what the spiral will look like when it's all tied up. And the last one I'm going to show you is how to do a bullseye. So I'll do the bullseye on my canvas bag here. So I think I would like two bullseyes on mine. I'll do one up here in this corner, and then I'll do another one over here. So for the bullseye, what I'm going to do is very similar to how I started this one, but instead of crunching it all up and going across, I'm going to go upwards so that I'll get concentric or circles, one that starts small, the next one will be bigger, but just outside of my small circle and they'll go outwards like that. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna grab both layers of my fabric. So I'll pinch up a little bit and then go ahead and grab a rubber band. I'll grab one of these guys and I am going to rubber band that on nice and tight. And then instead of choosing like another area, I'm going to put my next rubber band with the fabric that's just outside of this. So I'll go ahead and adjust this just a tiny bit. So it's a little more compact on there. So all the rubber band is in the same area. I'll grab another rubber band and I'm going to fold my fabric down and around just like this. And then I'll go ahead and put on another rubber band. 
So where the rubber bands are, you'll end up getting kind of that bullseye shape. Which will look really cool. There we go. So right now I've got one, two circles. I'll put on a few more. And if you're doing one like me, where you're doing more than one bullseye on the same object, you might want to do a few of your rubber bands on one of them, put on a few on the next one, and then go back and add more rubber bands if they're not quite meeting yet. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So I've got three rubber bands on this part so far. So I'm going to start working on this bullseye over here. I think I'd like the center of it to be about here. So I'll go ahead and grab the fabric and get myself a rubber band. And go ahead and rubber band it nice and tight. And then I'll get some more rubber bands. And then, since I have another little bit right here in this corner that doesn't have any, I think what I'll do is, I think I'll make a little bullseye over here too. So I'll take the end of this corner ahead and wrap around some rubber bands here. And then I'll do another one right after it. And you can also combine techniques. So if you wanted to do a bullseye plus a little bit of the other one that's the little random ones all over, you could definitely do that. That could look really cool to have one central focus point of a bullseye, but then a lot of texture over the rest of it. So this is what my bag looks like now that I have all the rubber bands on it. So let's take a quick look at all of my different tying techniques. So here's the one that's going to make a stripe. It's one piece of fabric kind of squished up together and then done with rubber bands at regular spacing. Here's the swirl or the twist. It has all of my fabric swirled up inside of here and then with some rubber bands. And if you choose to do this with your bag, you might need to put on like a third or a fourth rubber band to help hold it all in together. Here's this one that's gonna look like kind of crazy. It just has a whole bunch of little rubber bands all over the place. And then here is my bag that will end up having bullseyes on it. So this has rubber bands, once again, kind of like this one at regular intervals, but instead of me scrunching up the fabric ahead of time, I kind of pulled it from one central point and then pulled outwards. Well, I hope you enjoy making your tie-dye and you get a really cool, unique piece. Happy crafting! Bye!